check out our Unwind with Tasha K store. We got sweatshirts that say, now nah, I gotta go and I ain't got it. We got crop top wine mug, water bottles. We got it all, okay? So be sure to hit that link below. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Now, I'm, I'm really upset at uh, uh, Ice-T's lack of business skills here, okay? Now, this is, this is when, and, and I just talked about this on my Instagram Live, okay, involving um, uh, black people owning the rights to their intellectual property, their IP, okay, all their creativity. Listen, we got hit with about six talk show deals. All of them turned down. We said no. We said no. Why? They want me to leave my platform, go over to their platform, give me a salary that doesn't match said salary, okay, and give them the rights to my name, my creativity, and when they done or when I say something that possibly is borderline cancelish, you know what I'm saying, they cancel me, they take my money, and they they just they dispose of me, right? And so um, – Ice Cube, I'm just really, really just kind of, um, I'm a little disappointed in him being that he is so iconic in uh, the black movie industry and, and giving African Americans a space to be funny, okay, and to be accepted uh, regardless of our lifestyles and where we come from in our neighborhoods because our neighborhoods are some of the most fun neighborhoods regardless of all of the, the things that happen, whether it's shootings and stuff like that. Being in a black neighborhood, it's just something so soulful and so cultural about it. It just makes you feel at home and at peace, okay, despite unfortunate things that do go down in the hood but go down in every neighborhood, okay? So it's no different. It's no different, all right? And so for him to... Uh, say that, you know, he wants to make another Friday, but refuses to make another Friday because um, the company, I believe it's NBC, if I'm not mistaken, it's either NBC or Warner Brothers, don't give me the line, wants him to buy back the rights to his movie. And he said, no, I want him to give it to me. So you got to understand, Ice Cube was very young when he started producing movies, okay? Yes, he was transitioning out of the rap uh, game into becoming a producer as well as an actor, okay, and really made an impact heavily, like I said, in the black community when it came to showing what it's like to be black in America and live in the hood and have fun, okay? And he went on to make movie after movie, star movie after movie, and just sold rights after rights. But for something as iconic as Friday, a, a, a name that is still branded to this day, scenes that are still reenacted and mimicked to this day, okay? My daughter has watched all of the Fridays. My, my, I'm sure that my daughter's daughters one day will watch all of the Fridays. This is how iconic the movie is. And your pride is in the way so much that you don't want to buy back your rights that you sold in order to make the movie because you couldn't afford to make the movie back in the day because your pride is in the way. You want them to give it to you. And so now you're going to forfeit what's rightfully ours as a community and what's rightfully belongs to your children and your children's children all because you ain't ain't got the check to go buy it back and all you had to do was now this is a GoFundMe that I will support this is a GoFundMe that I will support but they probably be in the way okay they probably be in the way you want your rights back I guarantee you had you would have you would have sought us the public to say hey these people won't give me my rights and I can't afford to buy back my rights but I want to do this for the culture so that we could continue to make Fridays for all the Fridays to come please help me guys to require to acquire the rights back so that this movie belongs to our culture you want to get on the podcast and say now nah, they're gonna give it to me who is you nigga who is you who is you? You desperately sold them because you needed to make a movie. And for whatever reason, they need to just give them to you. Why would they do that? And they know they know the value. And when somebody wants you to buy something, when somebody is refusing to give it to you free, they know the value. But obviously you don't know the value of your own product. And so you're going to sit up there and be the, that you are at heart and let it go. I just cannot. Don't 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 mess around and let me go buy the rights since they 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 don't offer the number for them. <laughs> don't mess around and I ain't gonna give it to you. I'll be inspired by Ice Cube. Okay. 
That's just crazy to me. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, Kim Crazy probably don't want people to know he rich broke. That's exactly what it is. Y'all better be liking this video. I don't see enough likes. Do I need to go back to commercial? Do I need to go back? To, I know it was an impromptu live, but do I need to go back to commercial? Seriously. Everybody, I mean, you, you mean to tell me the type of money? And then even if, like, you were to say, hey, I want, I want to seek out the community, or I want to go sit with LeBron, or I want to go sit with Jay-Z. Jay-Z has a production company to help me to acquire the rights back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to give y'all said producers credit when we produce the next Friday, which is going to blow the roof off. Long as you don't put DC Young Fly or Jess Hilarious in it, we'll be good. They ain't comedians. We'll be good. We need Cat Williams, okay? We need you. We need some real comedian. We need Lunell. We need a real comedian. We don't need these Instagram comedians. As long as you don't go that route, we'll be good. We'll be good, okay? We'll 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 be making something. We'll be making something. So I hope that he, I hope that he does the right thing, okay? I really do. Moving on. All right, moving on. Moving on. Let's see. Whoo! Yes. You bought it's A and E said they bought it. I'm telling you, these wines be these wines be really good. All right, so Van Jones. I'm trying to figure out who who called him to the pulpit. Who asked for him? Who helped him to shave his head to get up? Dressed like Louis Farrakhan. Okay. <laughs> but has the spirit of, y'all don't want me to say it. You don't want me to say it. To speak for us. So he gets dressed, puts on a suit, just probably got finished dumping in a Caucasian. The sperm procreating and you want to say that on behalf of the black community we the blacks are no longer going to be silent about an issue that ain't got nothing to do with us who apologized to us who apologized to us see y'all got to be careful who y'all let through the door you got to be careful because they, you get them through the door and they dumping and squirting all in Caucasians, okay? And then they, they take on so much of the energy. You gotta, we got to remember sex is, is an exchange of energy. It's exchange. So they take on the energy of the, the person that they're dumping in and vice versa, right? And so I'm trying to figure out who gave him permission to speak on the behalf of the black community to condemn Kanye or Kyrie Irving for things that they said personally based on their experiences with a certain people. Who told you to speak for us? Who? Who? Who apologized for us? I probably got lipstick all on my damn chin. I hate lipstick that bleed, but oh well. Okay? Look like I'm about to go play my numbers. Where's our apology for the 400 years and still going? Where's our apology for all of our children being shot down? Where's our apology? Why are you not a, standing up as a black man to apologize to the young black boys that are losing their lives daily, whether it's from the police or from their own kind, because men like you won't show up in these communities to act as fathers to the fatherless. Where's our apology? That's right, Miss Blue. Nobody. Who asked you to speak? Who told you to get up there and speak? Was it right after you nutted? Was it right after you? It was that good to you. You nutted and, and she told you, you should apologize for your, you, you, you listen to me, Van. And she had him by the bald head. You listen to me. You're strong. You're powerful. And you represent your community with everything in you. So after you come, you better come hard. 
You go out there and you represent your people and you apologize to those people for those cruel things that were said about them. See what happens when you give them Kim Kardashian? You see what happens when you give them Kim... You see what happens when you let them know that Kim Kardashian? The she is just rubbing. What? The woman just rubbing. She's just taking all her secretions, just rubbing it all on his head. So he's just covered in white fluids. <laughs> he just covered in white fluids and went up there and stood tall after he done bust one to her. Better name was Rachel. Better name was Rachel. Okay and told him to get up there and represent our community since no one has the guts to say it. No one has the balls to say it. But I have your balls. And you're going to say it, right, Van? You're going to say it, right, Van? You're going to say it. Say it! <laughs> I just... And he got up there, he put on the tightest suit he could. He got a fresh shave. Had to scrub the secretions from all the cum off his head. That she smeared. When she put that word in him. To tell him to go apologize for us and we still wait on our apology. Our one mule. And 40 acres. You can go get that in Mississippi though for all the 8,000. But listen. You just got to move all the crosses they're going to burn. But listen to me. Just move them off to the side. But you own your 40 acres in the mule. Can't afford it in Florida. Can't afford it in New York. But you can go to West Virginia. You know what I would do? I would go to West Virginia and buy all up all their land. Buy all that coal mining land. Go buy it. It's cheap. It's cheap. But he going to talk about he, he We're not going to be quiet anymore. Who elected you? Who? Who told you? Obama ain't saying nothing. Even Herschel Walker ain't saying nothing. But who told you to say something? Who? <laughs> I just sat down. Sit, sit out. As soon as he would have got up there to I, sit your ass. I said, I said, I said, you better sit. I said, you better sit your ass. <laughs> Now, I said you better stitch your ass. Boy, you better stitch your ass. Always every time somebody preaches say, you want to come up and get saved. Knowing, knowing what you just did last night. Boy, if you don't sit your ass now. <laughs> if you don't, but the pastor talking to me, he ain't talking to you. He talking to who behind you. <laughs> Now, who was behind you last night giving it to you? He ain't talking to you. Sit your, sit down. <laughs> but I give you something you're looking for. I always want to do the most. I can't stand folks like that. I always want to do the most. Hold your peace. And hold your wide peace, okay? Just hold her. Hold her. But next time, sir, next time, sir, we don't need you. We don't need you to enter conversations that have nothing to do with us, okay? Kanye bleeds white. Kyrie Irving bleeds and comes in white. His children pass. Kanye's children pass. They don't need us. Kim just came through and saved Kanye from jail. What they need us for? This man got a billion, a half a billion dollars. What do he need us for? What we need you to do is we need you to go march your ass on down to the White House and tell them, tell them, listen to me. Do what, would you need, do what we need you to do. If you want to talk, you want to speak on behalf of us, do what we need you to do, okay? We need you to tell them they need to set aside land, not project buildings, but land for us like they did the Indians. We won't want none of the swamp land. We want land. Tell them to give us give us the whole state of Mississippi and Alabama. They don't even want that land. Just tell them to give it to us. Tell them to give, give us Tulsa back. 
And maybe we can start with an apology. What are we apologizing for? What are we apologizing for? 